This is the second video uh, in the Talent Pathways module. This one is regarding talent identification. Talent identification, as described by WG Coaching, is the process of understanding an individual's potential by looking into their physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, technical, tactical, and cultural aspects of who they are as a human being and as an athlete. In a sporting context, athletes generally start performing at a lower grassroots level of competition, generally playing for their local sports club uh, against other local sports clubs as well. The use of talent identification is to find the top performers of their level to be able to offer them opportunities to perform at a higher level than previously participating in. The first person you might think of when you think of talent identification, in this case, would be a scout. From the Wikipedia explanation, a scout is an experienced talent evaluator who watches athletes play their chosen sport to determine whether their set of skills and talents represent what is needed by the scouts organisation. The man on the screen is Steve Walsh. He's the man behind Leicester City's recruitment uh, before they won the Premier League. He identified players such as Jamie Vardy, Angolo Kante and Riyad Mahrez, who ended up being key players for the success of the football club. As a scout, he had a keen eye for talent and was able to select players from lower divisions to play at the highest level for a very, very small fee. Although Steve Walsh has a talent for recruitment, everyone has an opinion on who is talented and who isn't in their chosen sport. You might have conversations with your friends about the recent game, like a panel on Sky Sports, saying things like, oh, he was rubbish today, and he's always been a great athlete. But how early are people capable of identifying talent? Let's take a moment to think back to your days at school. It's lunchtime and everyone's lined up against the wall, hoping to be selected by the captains for the Tuesday lunchtime World Cup final. Why do certain people always get selected first? It's not just because they're best friends with the captain, but because that team captain has identified that that specific person will give them and his team the best chance of winning the game. Therefore, he's capable of identifying talent. This might not be identification that puts him on the same level as Steve Walsh, but this shows that talent can be spotted from a young age. Talent spotters have to be very careful about the way they conduct themselves during the process of scouting. According to the PFSA, this is known as ethical scouting and the website lists certain standards that have to be withheld by any scouts. These standards are fairly simple, including no foul language or behaviour towards any individual within or around the game they are watching. However, this code of conduct also includes that scouts have to fully cooperate with everyone involved with the game. In football, if the scout identifies an individual that meets the standards of the club they are working for within the grassroots game, the club will have to put in a seven-day notice period to the club that the individual plays for. This notice period communicates to the club that in seven days, the club sending the email will attempt to get the athlete signed up to their club. As you can see on the presentation, there is an example of the sort of email that would be sent. The club receiving the email can waive the notice period, meaning the club can register the player immediately. However, if this notice period isn't presented to the club, there can be consequences. The local football association have the right to cancel the player's registration with the league and the club could also face point deductions. This is why it is crucial that the correct procedure is followed when identifying talented athletes. If a scout identifies a player that they see as good for the organisation that they're working for, they need to get full contact details of both the player's parents and also the club themselves so the right procedure can be followed. That's all from me in this video. 
the third video will be up shortly. Thank you very much.